president mr barroso says i think my team is of high quality. well let us conduct a human audit. now i am mindful that audits are not very popular in the european commission and that auditors if they do their job properly get fired but nonetheless here goes. from france we have mr jacques barrot who will take on transport. in two thousand he received an eight month suspended jail sentence for his involvement in an embezzlement case and was banned from holding public office for two years. from hungary we have mr kovcs who will take on taxation. for many years a communist apparatchik a friend of mr kadar the dictator there and an outspoken opponent of the values that we hold dear in the west. his new empire will produce taxation policy and he will look after the customs union from cork across to vilnius. are the epp and british conservatives really going to vote for that? from estonia we have mr kallas for twenty years a soviet party apparatchik until his newly acquired taste for capitalism got him into some trouble. though to be fair he was acquitted of abuse and fraud but convicted for providing false information and he is going to be in charge of the anti fraud drive. i mean you could not make it up. from the uk we have got peter mandelson he will take on the trade portfolio. he of course twice was removed uh, from the british government yet to be fair he is one of the more competent ones. <laughs> from the netherlands we have got nelly kroos. she will take on com uh, competition. she is accused of lying to the european parliament. now these may only be allegations but they are made by mr van buitenen and i think should be listened to. ask yourself a question would you buy a used car from this commission? <laughs> I mean the answer simply must be no. But even if they were competent, even if this was a high quality commission, and sorry Mr Barroso but I don't think it is, even if it was a high quality commission we would still vote no on the political principle that it is the commission that is the guardian of the treaties, that it is the commission that is the motor for integration, that it is the commission that initiates the legislation that is damaging our businesses across Europe so badly. It is the Commission that is the embodiment of all that is worst in this European Union. It is the Commission that is the government of Europe and is not directly accountable to anybody. And please, when you vote, take note that 20 of these Commissioners have already said that they intend to attempt to implement the Constitution even before it has been ratified by Member States' governments. In the face of such breathtaking arrogance, nobody in the Independence and Democracy Group will vote for this Commission. Thank you. Well